One way to buy real estate, even if the bank has told you that they will not finance your next rental property because maybe you have too many properties, maybe you have poor credit, maybe you don't have enough down payment, maybe you're buying in a foreign country like I do. I'm Canadian, I buy, in, uh, buy rental properties in the US. Um, whatever it might be, one way to buy more real estate, even if the bank has told you no, or even if you don't have the ability to pay cash for a property, is to negotiate what we call seller financing or owner financing. And oftentimes you can negotiate a great deal with the seller and actually pay them more money um, by getting them to finance the majority of the purchase price, okay? So a lot of times when I'm approaching a, a motivated seller, a homeowner, I might give them two different offers. I might give them a cash offer, which is gonna be pretty low, and then I might give them an owner financing offer where I'm willing to give them a higher purchase price, and then I show them that if they finance the purchase of the property for me, so they become my lender, I, I pay them every month a negotiated principal pay down plus interest, I can show them how much interest they're gonna earn over the next five, 10, 15, 20, 30 years, whatever it might be. And a lot of times you can convince a seller to take the owner financing option where they know over the long term they're gonna get paid way more money if they finance the property to you uh, versus them just getting cash at closing, okay? So it depends on the motivation of the seller, but there's a lot of deals to be had by negotiating owner financing with the seller. And so what happens is you can get them to finance, well, it, it all depends on how good of a negotiator you are, but you can get them to finance 70, 80, 90% of the purchase price. And then all you have to do is make sure your numbers make sense, whether you're gonna be buying that property to fix it and flip it. Obviously that would be a short-term deal for your seller. Um, or maybe a longer term deal where you end up uh, renting the property out and you just need to make sure that your rental payments cover the cost of the financing that you're going to be paying the seller, right? And so you want to make sure you've got cash flow there. Or you might do something creative like owner finance that property again to someone new and now you've got a double owner finance in place. So you're owner financing it to a new buyer. They're making a mortgage payment to you. You're turning around and making a mortgage payment to the previous owner. And if you structure it right, then you've got some great monthly cash flow coming in that way. So there's so many ways to structure it, but the key is, is getting the owner to finance a significant portion of the purchase price. And then you don't have to worry about going to the bank to get financing. You don't have to worry about having a certain amount of down payment because the seller's willing to carry that back. And then you can get your exit strategy going and you can make some great money investing in real estate by using seller financing.